Hi, I'm Rebecca from the Springwell Museum of Art. For today's lesson, we're going to be combining language arts with visual arts as we work to create our own unique and imaginative characters. This, this activity is a lot of fun to do with a group of people, someone at home or just a partner. Um, so let's get started. Some of the lesson objectives we'll be focusing on today are contributing to a story and drawing in sequence, drawing and writing collaboratively, and creating imaginative characters with unique stories. Some of the materials we'll be using today include image from our permanent collection, a David Hobbin ink sketch, two pieces of plain white paper, and pencils, crayons, colored pencils, and markers. Exquisite Corpse is an activity where each person will take turns writing or drawing on a sheet of paper and passing it to the next person so they can add to it. The final result will be an image with the ideas of multiple people. First, let's look at a work from our permanent collection at the museum. This work is by Cassandra Barney, who is a living Utah artist. First, what details do you notice? What do you notice about her head, body, and legs? What do you think the woman is thinking about? What do you think she might be feeling? How can you tell? What does this show us about how the artist might see herself? Pause this video and talk about it with your partner. Great job. Okay, let's look at our next work of art. Work by David Hobbin, who is also a living Utah illustration artist. What details do you notice about this character? Why do you think it says, beats me, across the top? If you made up a story about this character, what would it be? Pause this video and talk about it with your partner. Now that we've looked at both of these images, let's go ahead and get started on creating our exquisite corpse art project. I have a partner here to help me. You can do this with as many people as you want. We each have two pieces of paper as well as a pencil. We will be working on two sheets of paper, a description page and a character page. Let's begin by writing a two sentence description of our character space on the description page. This should just be a simple physical description. For mine, I'm going to write, the head has a lot of swirling emotions that become her hair, all tangled and messy. Great, now that you've written your description, pass this paper to the person on your right. Once you get the paper from the person next to you, go ahead and read your partner's answer quietly to yourself. Great, now let's take our second sheet of paper, our character page, and fold it into three sections. Good job. Now that you folded your character page, use the description page you received from your neighbor and draw the face of the described character in the top third of the paper. Okay, go ahead and keep your character page at your station in front of you. 
Now go back to your description page, the one that was passed to you earlier. Read the description carefully and go ahead and add two more sentences that describe where this character comes from and how old they are. Now that you've added a few more details, pass your description page to the person on your right again. Using the new description page you just received for your neighbor, let's draw a torso in the middle third of the character page. Once again, make sure you read the description page carefully in order to know what details you should add to your drawing. Okay, did you get the details you wanted into the drawing? You can add more detail and color in a little bit. For the last portion of the description page, write two final sentences about a challenge you are trying to overcome. Each of us has challenges that we face, and it's important that we are sensitive to what others are going through. After writing your last two sentences, pass your description page to the right one last time. Read the new description page carefully. Remember to be respectful when reading about others' challenges. Now, on the bottom third of the character page, you will use the new description you've been handed to draw the lower portion of the character's body. Try to include something in this section that will help the character to overcome whatever challenge is described. Great, we are now ready to unfold our character page to see the whole character. You can now complete your drawing by adding details and making adjustments to combine all three sections into one clear character. This lesson can be extended so you can create a story where the character you created is the main character. With your partner or with someone at home, Talk about the project and compare what you thought your character was going to look like with how it actually turned out. What did you learn during this project? Was there anything challenging? How did your idea of your character change with each step? And that's it. So now you should have your own character. 
that used a lot of different descriptions from the different people you worked with. So we have this one is different here, here, and here. So you can take this and you can color it in um, and you can also extend this lesson and continue to create a story about this person. So that was mine and then my partner did this one here. So this is kind of fun. You can hold them up side by side and you can see who kind of did what. So it's kind of fun. I want to thank you for joining us today. We're excited for you to keep creating um, and making stories and doing this game with other people over and over. It's a lot of fun and we hope that you'll take a picture of what you did and you can tag us on social media, on Springwell Museum, on Instagram, or on Facebook. You can find us at facebook.com slash Springwell Museum. So we challenge you to take a picture, you can tag us, show us what you did. You can also look back here for other lesson plans coming up and other exhibitions coming up in the future, as well as other resources for you to use for free. Thanks.